Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Cheryl. So I thought I would just crack on and do another vlog. Um, I have loads of stuff that's not finished, as usual. I kind of, oh my God, I just, I don't understand why I kind of keep on top of things, but I kind of keep on top of things. I've got more earrings that I want to kind of make and finish my Monstera leaves. Um, I've got some hair clips that I need to finish. I've got scrunchies that I need to make this week. I need to put some little bags and stuff together for raffle prizes for the kids' school um, fair that they're having to try and raise money. The school's trying to raise money so that they can take all of the children to the pantomime for Christmas from the school. Um, so yeah, I said that I would obviously give them some stuff so that they could use for raffle prizes because I'm so nice like that. Um, but yeah. Excuse is looking a bit funny, like... I was at sports day yesterday with the kids and I've burnt myself again. I'm going to invest in like an SPF moisturiser because I keep burning my face. I think it's all the different things that I'm using on my face at the moment and it just looks absolutely terrible. So it's a bit sore. I don't think it's going to feel very nice when I go in the shed and put my respirator on. Oh, oh it's sore. But yeah. <laughs> some resin molds Um, I've already got this resin mold but I felt like I needed a second one so I could make more than one pair of earrings I really don't like making one pair of earrings at a time I do like to to try and do more than one because I'm not in the shed that often but then I also went for the smaller molds now I did message them and ask them if they could just do this shape you know like put four of them but they said that it's all cast in a housing and they can't do that. And I was a bit like, mm, yeah. But it's fine. Like, it gives us a bit of variation. So that's good. And as I showed you, they're by a brand called Heidi Mold. I think it's Heidi Mold. Um, but yeah, go and give them a look because I've got some amazing molds. And these are so crystal clear that you can kind of see if there's any bubbles. They're amazing. I really like them. So yeah, I'm going to get my monster that's finished. Yesterday I had them all did some monster leaves that I had made in the shed and I also made some hair clips just with like leftover resin. Um, I wanted to make some more of the green monsteras because I have um, two pairs of the hearts waiting just for the monsteras to be added to them because I made extra. <sighs> and I've used the wrong glitter. I picked up the green glitter and it was the wrong green glitter. I've got two and it's the lighter version. And I'm devastated because they look really, really nice. But I'll show you what I mean. I can't even pair them together. So now I'm going to have to make another four love hearts to go with these monsteras. And the love hearts are the ones that take a bit longer. I've got to make like the love heart. Then I've got to glue the back to the love heart. And then I kind of add like a, a doming layer over the back of the stud. Like the stud post. So it takes longer to make the hearts than it does to make leaf <sighs> but i'll show you so i mean the look don't get us wrong they look lovely but i don't know if you can see it on camera to be honest that's that and then they're just completely different two completely different greens these look all right though it's pretty, isn't it? They just need domed and then hair clips clipped in the back. Yeah. Oh, morning. I have a deal. Well, <laughs> it's not that it's not that exciting to be honest because Eddie's at nursery at half eleven, so I've only got like now that I finished doing all the school runs, I've got two hours to try and get loads of stuff done. But all of my kids are staying out tonight. They never ever all stay out normally there's like one stays out or two of them stay out but all three of them are staying out so i think craig's got some ideas that he wants to do something late and i'm like oh. 
I just want to craft if I'm honest but I don't know we'll see but it just means that I've got a bit more me time without the kids going mom can I have this mom can I have that I'm hungry tired he's hitting me I want to watch this so yeah I've just got me me time to do stuff but um I've got some pieces that I want to dome so that I can make some new moulds. So I'm actually doming some of my acrylic blanks so that I can make some resin moulds. Because I do quite like the domed look, but I don't really like top coating. Um, I sometimes ruin my pieces doing that. So I've got a lot of doming to do. And I'm going to be using, I'll show you. This is like my basket of goodies that I need to sort out. But I'm using Resin 8 Dome It. I've used this once before. The first time that I used it, I mixed up way too much resin. I think I warmed the bottles up. I gave them a bath. And you're not actually meant to do that with the dormit. So I had a chemical reaction and all my resin sort of bubbling and it hardened like in minutes. And because these are only small bottles, I used quite a lot. I think I tried to dome a couple of other pieces, but because I've been warming it up, I don't think I liked it at the time when I was using it because I watched, I watched a video last night, basically, um, two girls from Resin 8 in the wall. I'll link it below because if you use Resin 8, they show you all of the different resins and kind of they have like a little chit chat about what they're for. Um, yeah, and it said out of all the resins, you do not give the dome it a bath which I was doing. I actually need to do an unboxing sometime today on my new Dremel Stylo. I used to have a Tack Life little rotary tool and it just kept breaking on us. Like, I just wish I bought the Dremel. So I went for the Stylo. It's very, very lightweight. When I was in B&Q, I had all of them lined up in B&Q. So actually, you can get all of these on Amazon, all of the Dremels. But if you're not sure which one that you like, go to B&Q because my B&Q had all of the Dremels lined up in a row and I got to pick up each one. And to be honest, um, I do get sore wrists and sore hands anyways for work. So when I picked up this one, it is just like a pen and the other ones were quite chunky, but it depends what you want and what you like, I guess. So I need to do an unboxing on that. I've got a resin mould that I need to make. I want to make my Christmas tree resin mould today. Um, I need to try these out sometime as well. I use craft resin. Craft resin was the resin that I very first started with at the beginning. I dabbled in a couple of other resins and I went back to craft resin. And craft resin, seen something that I did online, I must have tagged them in something. I'll leave it linked below. I asked us to write a blog. Um, and I wrote a blog and the feature is on their craft resin website. So you'll have to have a little look. And the scent is some resin which I already use it, so I was dead happy. And the scent is their makeup powders. Their makeup powders can be used in epoxy resin, cosmetic, candle, paint, soap, slime, and bath bomb. I've just came in the shed to check on some of my pieces and I'm actually going to cry. Like, I named the spider Aaron and I was quite comfortable in his shed. And like, he's bigger than ever. It's like, it's like a creature that I've never seen before. Like, oh my God. I can't have these spiders in my shed. This is, this is disgusting. This is like,
I think I'm just going to end this vlog here. Um, I've demolded a few of those resin pieces in the shed. They've been there for about 12 hours, but the Monstera leaves, I do need to leave them for probably the 24 hours just so that they don't kind of warp out of shape, you know, when I demold them. Um, and I'll probably just do that tomorrow. I'll start a new vlog tomorrow for a fresh new week. I've got loads of drilling and that to do, so I really need to get that Dremel out of its box and do like an unboxing video. I need to sort out the spiders tomorrow. Um, and I just need to finish things because I'm really bad for not actually finishing things. So yeah, I'll start a fresh vlog tomorrow for next week. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, turn the bell on so you're always notified when I post a video because it does mean a lot to me. I love it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.